acquisition of knowledge. The early man initially faced many difficulties which he tried to overcome. Observation and experimentation helped him a lot. He made many discoveries and inventions. The following inventions contributed a lot in bringing man to the present stage of knowledge. The concept of writing, invention of numbers, invention of paper, and invention of printing press. In the beginning, the early man did not have any specific language, so he did not know the concept of writing. He did not write the way we write. Man communicated with the help of signs and symbols. So, perhaps the drawing of the pictures of objects must have been the beginning of the art of writing. Do you know? Many drawings and paintings have been found on the cave walls in France, Spain and India. The Chinese script is a pictorial presentation. The Chinese were the first to write on paper. Gradually, early human beings began using symbols and this development led to the growth of the script. The script is an alphabet or system of writing. Most languages have their own scripts. Scripts are of two types, based on sounds and based on symbols. Most of the ancient scripts used symbols and pictures. A picture of an object representing a word, syllable or sound as used in ancient Egyptian and other writings is hieroglyphics. Such a script has been found in Egypt. India, Egypt, Iraq and China are the oldest civilizations of the world. In India, one of the oldest scripts have been found on the seals of the Indus Valley Civilization, but they have not been fully deciphered. The Brahmi script or the Indian script was developed about 2000 years ago. Most of the Indian scripts have developed from this script. The script of Hindi is Devnagri. The script of Punjabi is Gurumukhi and that of English is Roman. English is our second official language and is still quite popular and is used in all the states of India. According to the Constitution of India, 22 languages have been recognized that can be used for official work in the different states of India. Do you know? The art of beautiful handwriting is known as calligraphy. Amazing fact! The Brahmi script was also the ancestor of all South Asian writing system, including Burmese, Thai, Tibetan and even Japanese. Louis Braille made a script for the blind in 1825. He belonged to France and was responsible for changing the life of millions of people who were deprived of the power of sight. Louis Braille developed a script called the Braille script. Letters in the Braille are formed by raised dots on thick paper. By touching the raised dots, the visually challenged people are able to read. Today, the visually impaired are not helpless as they can read any subject through this script. The government has provided special computers for them and has also given other aids to enable them to lead a normal life in society. A number is an arithmetical value representing a particular quantity and 
used in counting and making calculations. The early man used sticks, stones or figures for counting. The system of counting in tens which is used in most parts of the world today was developed in our country. We have given the concept of zero to the world. This system reached Europe via the Arabs and is used all over the world. The Romans developed a system of writing numbers represented by seven symbols. We call it the Roman numerical. All counting is represented using basic symbols I, V, X, D, C, L. The early man did not know the use of paper. It was invented by the Egyptian who made paper from the papyrus plant almost 4000 years ago. The term paper is derived from this plant. Actually, they were the Chinese who made perfect paper from the pulp of the bark. Today, paper is made from many things such as grass, plants and wood pulp. Before the invention of paper, man used clay tablets, leaves and skin of animals for writing. In the beginning, books were written by hand. But such books had many disadvantages. It was also a slow process and could not be written in large numbers. Very expensive and not easy to carry and fragile too. The art of printing started in China about 1500 years ago and then it reached Europe. Marco Polo who visited China took the concept of printing to his country, Italy. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg, a German national, developed the first modern printing press. He made types which were small metal molds of the letters of the alphabet. Types could be arranged to form words, lines and pages known as typesetting. On typeset pages, ink was used and pressed on paper to get the print impression. The individual types were taken apart once, the book was printed and was reused again. The Bible was the first book to be printed on Gutenberg's printing press. The printing press reduced the cost of books and they began to be printed in large numbers. More and more people began to read books. Today, thousands of newspapers, magazines and books are being printed. Let us summarize. The art of writing is very old. Many early drawings and paintings have been found in the caves of France, Spain and India. The script is a system of writing which use sounds or symbols. India gave the concept of zero to the world. Indian knowledge reached Europe via the Arab countries. Egyptian first made paper from the papyrus plant. Modern paper was invented in China. Johannes Gutenberg, a German, invented the printing press.